Hey guys, how's it going? This is Pocket, and in this video I'm going to show you how to speed up Safari performance on your iOS device. So, let's get started. So you're probably wondering why Safari gets slower sometimes and why it gets unresponsive. So the reason that this happens is because when you're browsing the web, if you're looking for a website that you're interested in and looking on websites, Safari stores data on your device like cache data, history data and of course passwords and cookies. And the issue is that as your uh, as the time passes, then this file gets bigger and bigger and bigger and sometimes gets very large that so you're probably not going to notice that. But actually Safari takes more time to load because of that file, because it's actually very big. And the issue with Safari is that it has to uh, store all the data that it has right on the RAM of your of your device in order to run perfectly, because if this data is stored on the memory, on the storage device, then Safari is going to be probably 20 times slower or 50 times slower. So that's why Safari has to take all this data, process them and stores them into the RAM. And, that's and this actually takes a lot of, of RAM space. And this is not only the file, but also all the other files like the, the Safari app itself, itself. And that's why it happens. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to delete that uh, cache file and uh, history uh, data from Safari and make it back to its shape. And also another major issue, issue is again RAM. So I'm going to show you some tips how to keep your RAM clean and have plenty of space for Safari to run. So okay, without any uh, more theory, let's get started. So the first thing you do is to go on settings and then scroll down to Safari and then go where it says clear history and website data and click on clear history and data. Also, if you are interested in how much, well, how much website data you have on your Safari, you need to go to advanced and then you go to website data and then this is going to load for a while and this is going to show how much um, cache data and website data you have right on your device. So most of this data is actually cookies that the website are created to store the user data like um, passwords or something to remember, something for the user to remember. And this all these um, data that Safari stores. If you want to remove them, you can click on remo remove all website data and then it removes all the data and Safari gets faster. Okay, another thing that you want to consider is passwords. So if you want to delete all your passwords from Safari, um, actually I'm not going to show my password, you can go into password and then you can uh, delete them manually. Okay, so that was enough for Safari and then if you want you can go uh, and reboot your phone just in case to see uh, better changes. And another thing is, this is the second um, big and massive tip that you need to do to keep Safari very fast, is to clean up the RAM. So many people are skipping this step because they say, whatever, well, why should I clean, clean the RAM? It doesn't make any difference. Actually, it makes difference because uh, if you leave an app open, actually, takes space on RAM. And you're gonna see the difference if you have a device with 512 megabytes rather than one gigabytes. Because if you have one gigabytes, then actually you need uh, lots of apps to take uh, a certain part of the RAM space to use it for the data. And then you're probably going to see the difference. So the first thing you do is to just double click and then clean up. Also, I forgot to tell you about Safari is that you need to clean up the tabs that you don't use because this actually takes RAM as well. So for example, I don't use, I don't really use this anymore. So I'm gonna delete this and then I'm going to use this tab. And please make sure to check the tabs um, recent, uh, frequently because sometimes when you're browsing the web for a uh, website, probably going to use another tab to go to another link and like that. So please make sure to keep, uh, the, to keep an eye on the tabs, on the number of tabs, because the more tabs you have, the slower the Safari gets because the more data has. And another tip is you need to download Battery Doctor. So go on, on App Store, go to search and type Battery Doctor. There you go. And it should be the first one you need to download. 
this, this is the app that you, that you should download. Mine's a little bit different, but I don't think that um, App Store has this version anymore. It's probably going to be a previous version of it, but I'm not quite sure. But anyway, so click on the app after you have downloaded. And then go to Memory and click on Boost. Here should say how much uh, memory is taken by the apps and the phone itself. It's going to try to clean as much as possible. And right now you have 32% of memory space. If you want, you can do a junk clean just to, make, just to be, be sure that your phone is clean and better because it doesn't matter all uh, the RAM space also matters how much space your phone has so just to uh, give a bonus tip click done and you wait until this finish and boom and now you should see how much junk uh, has been deleted so right now I have half a gigabyte of free space uh, don't freak out because uh, that I have a, I have a small space because this is the 16 gigabytes model and I know it suck <laughs> okay and this is what you, you actually need to do to split a Safari and then you're probably going to see the, the difference, the performance and this is actually going to work best if you have a 512 megabytes of uh, RAM because uh, almost half of it is taken by the operating system and the other half is for the user like uh, storing uh, app data and stuff like that and yeah, so that's that, that what you need to do and now you are ready to try out your uh, back in shape Safari and you're gonna see the performance difference and also if you have a the latest device you're probably not going to see a big difference okay so that was everything for the guys I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and give a big thumbs up and also comment below to let me know what you think about this video so thanks for watching guys and I'm gonna see you in my next video